pair is associated with not just beauty and allure, but it's also associated with health and wellness and well-being. Our hair plays such an important role in our identity and our self-confidence. Any form of alopecia, including alopecia areata, affects the way that people walk in the world. The emotional impact of alopecia is not to be underestimated. When a patient has alopecia, it can result in intense feelings of depression, sadness, and social isolation. It's important that their family and friends are sensitive to what they're going through and try not to make comments that can make them more self-conscious and to urge them to seek the support of others in the same situation. It's very common for me to see alopecia patients in my practice, and that's a function of it being so common in the general community and also within certain populations. In terms of some of the common forms of alopecia, such as age-related alopecia, stress-related alopecia, and alopecia areata, the incidence in the African-American community is similar to that in other communities. However, there are other forms of alopecia that are seen pretty much exclusively within the African-American community. And so because of those types of alopecia, overall the incidence of alopecia is more common in people of African descent. About a third of black women in their lifetime will suffer some form of alopecia. One thing that I wish all women of African descent would do is to go once a year to see a dermatologist to have their scalp examined. With timely diagnosis and implementation of treatment, the majority of the time, we can either stop or slow down the hair loss, or we can start to get it back. And the earlier we can treat your alopecia, the better the outcome will be.